Was that a victory for the True Believers team? Oh, I think uh, they listened to the coach in the second half. Matt O did his block at half time saying that North Sydney had taken our game plan and they executed pretty well and probably for the first 10 to 15 minutes we didn't have any ball. And in the second half we got a fair bit of ball and the boys played direct and we win. We, we will win the competition. I'm very confident. That's a big prediction there by Terry Rowney, but you'd know you've seen a lot of rugby league. You must be proud today. Uh, fans, you know, they travel. And it doesn't matter where you can play, they travel, but they love coming to North Sydney Oval and it's a good crowd today. Yeah, well, I said North's are trying very hard and they're really our blood brothers. That, uh, as a foundation club, they've really had a dig to get more and more people here and it's a special day for us, for both clubs, for Frank Hyde Day. And they're just very good people at North, so very easy to get along with and everyone loves rugby league and it's a win for both. And, you know, there's those who follow Newtown and those who wish that they did. Tell me the relationship at the moment between the Cronulla Sharks and Newtown Jets, it just seems to be getting better and better as the days go on. Yes, that's a, a fair observation there. Uh, uh, Shep comes down now, as a, he's involved with first grade coach and uh, he, he watches the boys at training and, and, and a bit of a mentor and a helper and discussion partner for Matto, which is, which is just excellent. And in the overall, uh, I think it, it is getting better and they're going well and we're going well. And, you know, things usually go well when everyone goes well, I suppose. Yeah. It comes down to fitness and uh, how are the boys on the park? I mean, there's a couple of changes, that, uh, you know, to and fro's, but they just seem to hold their own. We've got a couple of serious uh, injuries at the moment. Looks like the young centre will be out for a couple of weeks. And uh, our uh, Jason Schoenack uh, busted his hand and he'll be out for three or four weeks. And he is essential if we're going to go good. And then, of course, New Brown didn't play today as half. So the whole back line got shuffled around. And, uh, and and when everyone's in their place, I've got to tell you, no one will beat us. No one. Next week we've got the Tigers, uh, and then you know the run home to the finals. It's going to be very interesting. A couple of big home games as well. Yeah, there is. And, and next week with the Tigers is very important because we're just behind a point behind the Tigers. We can go into the four, and I believe that we'll end up with uh, you know a good side to put in the paddock next week. And, and you know, I always from the first play, I always keep my fingers crossed. I don't want any of the full-time blokes playing. I want them all playing in our all, but the only can play seven in. So somebody's going to miss out. But the attitude of the guys from Cronulla, if you're giving the mark out of 100, you'd be on 101. They're, they're outstanding. Some of the boys are just terrific. And the, the three young kids that came up from the 20s and two of them played again today were, were just fantastic. I, I couldn't describe it. They love playing here. They, the crowd, the people, what everyone else does at Newdown, loves the players to death. They're, they're going already. And I, you know, I hope if they're available next year, we can get them to wear the Royal Blue because they'll fit in really well. Terry Rowney, it's always an honour, a privilege and a pleasure. Thanks for joining us on Steel Sports. Thank you, Robbie. It's good to be here.